Welcome to the Blue Cloud Virtual Research Environment tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to register to the virtual research environment, how to use the key virtual research environment functionalities, how to access the VRE resources, and finally, how to access the virtual laboratories offering of the VRE. The Blue Cloud Virtual Research Environment you have to go to the URL https blue-cloud.defortscience.org and select the register button. You will be taken to a page where you can decide to use one of your existing account, including your social account or academic ones, or you can decide, decide to enter your name, last name, email, surname and password and create a new account on the gateway. As soon as I log in, I'm taken to the Blue Cloud dashboard page. The Blue Cloud dashboard page allows the user to access the whole Blue Cloud VRE offering. On the top, we can see a number of icons. The first one is the Blue Cloud Gateway Dashboard page. From anywhere in the Blue Cloud Gateway, you can click on it and return to this page. Next to the Blue Cloud Gateway Dashboard page, we can find the workspace application. Next to the workspace application, we can find the catalog application. And next to the catalog application, we can find the messages application. In this case, private message. There is also a search facility that is available. And uh, a go-to functionality to switch between one virtual laboratories and another. The Blue Cloud dashboard page presents from the top a number of widgets allowing you to navigate to the Blue Cloud Gateway. In the very top, we can see in the middle a description of the Blue Cloud Hackathon virtual research environment that is available for uh, marine scientists and researchers, data scientists and ICT experts, innovators and students to explore and test Blue Cloud. On the right, I can see the other virtual laboratories that are available on Blue Cloud. The first one, Blue Cloud Project, is restricted to the Blue Cloud Project members only. Whereas the other environments, such as Blue Cloud Lab or Alien and Invasive Species Virtual Lab, are available to the public. In particular, in Blue Cloud Lab, scientists can contribute, find, try, and use the Blue Cloud methods, algorithms, as integrated in the Blue Cloud infrastructures by scientists across multiple disciplines. For going to Blue Cloud Lab, and exploring these virtual laboratories, let's take a very quick look on the, say, Blue Cloud horizontal functionalities, the functionalities that are available on all the environments, the virtual laboratories that, they, that are available in the gateway. The workspace is the cloud storage solution of Blue Cloud. It supports of course, the upload of file up to 50 gigabyte per user. It supports the sharing of files and folders. There is the search and it is available, of course. It is possible also to share links and to use the version control of any file version transparently. When I click Next to the folder icon, on the book icon, I can access the Blue Cloud Catalog. 
in here you will find data, products and resources of interest for the Blue Cloud community. In particular, the catalog features dataset and products resulting from the Blue Cloud virtual laboratories activities and the method used to generate them. So for instance, if I want to see what the demonstrator marine environmental indicators demonstrator has published so far, I can click on it and I can see that there are six items that have been published by this virtual laboratory so far. Finally, next to the book icon, there is the envelope icon. In this case, I can use, I can use uh, this uh, mail facility to exchange messages with private messages with other users of the Blue Cloud VRE. If I go back to the dashboard, I can see that I can also access the data discovery and access service that facilitates the discovery and the retrieval of data sets and data products for external users in standalone mode. When I click here, I'm taken to the Blue Cloud Data Discovery and Access Service. Let's take a look now at, at the Blue Cloud Lab. To register for the Blue Cloud Cloud, I just have to create a request. So I click and confirm request, and this request is automatically, automatically accepted. And I'm taken to the Blue Cloud Lab home. In here, I can see analytics services that I can use to do my research. For instance, I can access a Jupyter Hub instance with a maximum of 8 cores and 32 gigas of RAM per notebook. I can access our studio cluster of our studio servers, each with 16 cores and 32 gigas of RAM. And I can access the analytics engine or the miner that permits the execution of an array of analytics methods by transparently relying on the distributed computing infrastructure of Blue Cloud. There is also the catalog link that is available. In this case, the items are restricted to the Blue Cloud Virtual Laboratory with VLAB products only, and a shared folder among all the members of the Blue Cloud Lab, where members can upload their files and their presentations. I can see the members by clicking on the member page. Now let's take a look at Jupyter Hub. There are a number of several options that are available for, for Jupyter Hub. I will select, for instance, the default small and I will click start. In this case, my server is starting up and this is a dedicated server for me that is being spawned on the cluster for my use. There you go. In, Blue, in Jupyter Hub, you see that two specific folders. One is called data space. The data space folder is a remote folder that is shared among all the Jupyter Hub instances. It is a very large folder where you can store your data, but this is shared among all the members. But I can also see the workspace folder. In this case, the content of the workspace is exactly the same of the workspace that we saw before by clicking on the folder icon on the top. And I can have 
a number of uh, you know, can open also a notebook from here. and execute it if I wish let's see now the analytics engine available also from the analytics page now the analytics engine is a uh, an engine for executing of experiments, online experiments or methods. If you click on execute experiment you find a list of already available methods that can be used can be executed on the infrastructure. For instance, let's now try to execute one method. For instance, the get species occurrences from hobbies, the Ocean Biogeographic Information System repository. In this case, I just have to write the species name, Sai Sarda Sarta, species scientific name, and I click Start Computation. Now the method is being executed in the infrastructure, and the obvious repository is being queried by the When I execute the method, I have uh, an equivalent WPS web processing service request that I can use to resubmit the exact same method with the exact same parameter anytime. This makes the method uh, an actual web service that can be called also outside the data miner interface. For instance, I can paste it in a notebook or I can paste it in the browser and the, the, in this case we can see that the method is being executed on this machine here called determiner-prototypes.cnr and this is the output of the execution in here this is a, an XML that is compared with the web process service protocol and in here I can see that this, the, there is a link for with the log, log of the computation available and a link with the species occurrence result. The same link that are available in the interface. For instance, if I can, uh, I want to see the output of the method. It is a CSV file that I can download, and I can open it on the and there you go. This is the CSV file with the occurrences of Sarda Sarda from Office. If I go on the check computation part, I can see all the computations, all the methods that I, that I have executed so far. And for each computation, I can see the log of the computation, the output, but also the input parameters and the computation details. And what I can also do is I can resubmit the, the computation, the same exact computation. Now it's being resubmitted with the same input data. And it now finished. Conclude this tutorial by entering the book called Akaton Virtual Lab, which is Uh, very similar to the Blue Cloud Laboratory that I just presented. In fact, you can find the Jupyter app, R Studio, the access to the data discovery and access service, and the analytics engine. And let's conclude with explaining how to access the demonstrator's virtual laboratory. Now, by scrolling down the page, you will see a section dedicated to each of the five demonstrators of the cloud, starting from Demonstrator 1, Zooplankton, Zoo EOV, uh, 
plankton genomics, marine environmental indicators, fish and method of scale, stocking fisheries. If you want to see what the demonstrator have, has done so far with the cloud, you just have to click on the name of the demonstrator and uh, confirm the request to access and you will be taken to the home page of the demonstrator in this case the demonstrator 1 the zoo and phytoplankton UV virtual laboratory in this demonstrator first page you have a number of autos explaining what uh, the, 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 the demonstrator members you know, the scientists the researchers that have been working on this demonstrator as have done so far uh, with the services that uh, are available in this demonstrator and they uh, in this case have published uh, how to or uh, how to uh, the describing the, the the work that they've been doing and each of the steps that they uh, have done to obtain the results for instance, Demonstrator 1 has, um, has used RStudio, the Catalog, Jupyter Hub, and the Analytics Center. So, you are free to explore the various works in the Demonstrator, learn from them, and see. Thank you for watching. This concludes the tutorial. In Blue Cloud Hackathon, the Hackathon teams will have their own workspace at their disposal. The workspace is accessible from the link on the top, the folder on the top, and when you access the workspace, you find a different type of folders that are available. The first type of folder is called VRE folders. The VRE folders are marked with a star The system creates automatically a VRE folder for each virtual lab you belong to. In this example, we see a user that belongs to three virtual labs. For instance, if I access the Blue Cloud Hackathon VRE folder, I can find all the resources that have been put available by the members of the organizing committee of the Hackathon. It is very important to know that the VRE folders are shared with all the members of the virtual lab. So in this case, the Blue Cloud Hackathon VRE folder is shared automatically with all the members of the virtual lab. This is the same folder that appears when you access the Blue Cloud Hackathon virtual lab. In fact, the content of the Blue Cloud Hackathon VRE folder is also displayed in the bottom part of the home page of the Blue Cloud Hackathon. Here you can see the same content of the Blue Cloud Hackathon VRE folder. Let's go back to the workspace. In the workspace I will uh, you will also find one shared folder that is available for the team. So for instance, here I can see the Hackathon Team 1 folder. This folder is shared only and with only the members of Team 1 of the Hackathon. But you can create also private folders. Folders that are private to your user. This is the case for the Mappings and Photos folder. To request support for the 
Hackathon Virtual Lab Matters. There is the request support link always present on the right of the window. When you click request support, a new tab will be open for you, redirecting to the tracker page where you can ask for support to the D4 Science team. Here, you can, uh, you can signal a bug or request for support. It will be very easy. You just need to enter the subject description and click create. Mm -hmm.